my words out and I'm just going to spit it out because you'll have seen the montage just then so I may as well just tell you what it is. I am going back to Arizona and I honestly cannot contain myself. Wow! Wow! So, a little bit of backstory if you didn't already know. My best friend, my soul sister, my partner in crime, <laughs> um, Andrea, also known as just- Okay, the secret is out. Let me pop you up on the shelf here. I can finally talk about it. <laughs> Go watch Tamsin's video in full. I loved the way that she started out the video with all the clips from before. So go check out Tamsin's channel. Make sure that you are subscribed to both of our channels because she's coming back to Arizona! I'm so excited. We've been talking about it for... We've been talking about it since she left, but we've been talking about it seriously for few months now like kind of back at the beginning of the summer so that her tickets are finally booked and like it's officially happening is just amazing we are both so <laughs> excited so excited um, she's gonna be here for almost three full weeks so there's gonna be lots of content and I can't remember if I've said it like explicitly but I know I've hinted at it some of you have probably already like connected the dots. Tamsin will be coming to see me in London when I'm there at the end of this month which kind of brings me back to the this this video that we are filming here. Welcome to the new weekly vlog. Welcome to a new month. It is October 1st. It's Tuesday. I did not vlog yesterday. It was just a busy day on campus and yeah didn't really feel like vlogging. I figured I would start the vlog today so that's what I'm doing. I've got my coffee iced well it's no there's no ice but it is cold coffee and you can probably tell there's more light I've taken down the sunshades that have been in my windows all summer so there's like more light and I still can't open the windows it's not that cold yet but it's getting there at night it's really nice oh it's so nice at night it's currently 81 degrees so we are still having highs in the upper 80s low 90s but the nighttime has been the lows have been like upper 60s it's so nice if i wake up early enough it's still like 67 degrees outside and it's great i've been pretty busy this morning trying to be productive been doing some stuff in my planner just trying to get everything organized for October. I meant to do an October plan with me video and that just didn't really happen. I've also been working on my conference paper. So this is what it was when it was a seminar paper. So this is just a copy of what I turned in. Um, this was in April of 2012, you guys. I was still a master's student. This was one of my masters seminar papers. I always knew I would do something with it because I really liked the topic. My conference paper is called Up With Hems, Down With Society, Rhetoric and Response of the Dress Reform Movement. So it's looking primarily at the press response to the dress reform movement in 1851 and 1852. You guys might be more familiar with the dress reform movement as like the bloomer costume. Uh, more people have heard of bloomer than um, dress reform in general. So I've been reading back through this, highlighting stuff that I know needs to be in the conference presentation um, because I need to make my presentation, but I also need to polish up this paper and make it into a journal article. So there's different formatting and like restrictions and requirements for that. So I'm also kind of going through and seeing, okay, what books do I need to consult again? What research do I need to brush up on? Because this was just a seminar paper. This is not yet of a publishable quality so I need to update that. Even though the journal article isn't due until after the conference, I still want to kind of revise it to be an article as part of prepping for the conference if that makes sense so that my conference presentation is like super strong. I also have pulled out a bunch of my books particularly the ones that I found a few extras that for some reason I don't think I didn't cite but they might have some information but the ones that I'm citing the most Fashion and its Social Agendas by Diane Crane. This was a huge 
book on like my comp exam and my dissertation but then I also have the remembered gates origins of American feminism and then appropriating dress women's rhetorical style in 19th century America by Carol Mattingly this book I know I cite a bunch of times so and has some good pictures and then this one also had I need to go back and look through some of my notes and stuff. I, I can actually see my notes in here from when I was working on this paper. Oh gosh, that's... H have any of, the, uh, of you other ac academics who follow me, have you like ever gone back and looked through books that you read and annotated or papers that you wrote like years and years and years ago? Like this is seven years old now, this paper. More than seven years. Seven and a half. And I'm, I'm only up to like page eight, but it's not as bad as I was anticipating. <laughs> it's actually still okay. So I don't think it's going to take as much work as I was afraid it would. I really want to try to make a push on this this week. So this might be what this weekly vlog kind of revolves around is me working on my conference paper. I want to work on the edits on this. I want to feel like I'm making progress with it and just... I think what I really want to do is go back through the paper. Right now I'm reading it and highlighting stuff and making notes, but then I'll open it up in my on my computer and like start editing it. Next week I can then start working on the presentation, the PowerPoint. So I'm feeling good. I'm f it's not as bad as I thought. I need to track down the things that I cite, and especially the primary sources. There's some articles from press at the time in, in the 1850s. So I want to go and find those. I'm getting there. It'll be fine. I'm just panicking a little bit this morning because I realized it is Tuesday, October 1st. I leave on Tuesday the 22nd. So I officially have exactly three weeks before I leave. By the time this vlog goes up, it will be less than that. So, ah, um, <laughs> just panicking a little bit. Um, there's just so much that needs to get done. There's so many videos I want to film. I need to work on the conference paper. Paper. I've got whole house admin. It's going to be a busy month. And I'm excited and I'm happy because I can't wait to see Tamsin. She's going to end up spending like four days with us and she's coming to see me present at the conference. That was kind of a random twist of events that I was just really happy about. So I'm very, very excited. And I know that once like I'm on the plane, it's going to be great. It's just those last few weeks before you go on a major trip like this, at least for me, those last like two to three weeks are always just so manic and so crazy because there's just a million things I'm trying to get done. But today I have some errands I have to run and then an appointment later this afternoon. I'm gonna go. So welcome to the vlog. Tamsin's coming to Arizona, but first I'm going to London and it's all happening really, really soon basically. <laughs>
Welcome to Sunday. Just trying to get everything into my kitchen. Mom and I, well, Mom's on our way home, but Mom just dropped me off. We just finished at Whole Foods. It is time to put away the groceries. Um, and then I've got a few bits to show you that I got at Whole Foods. That's all the beauty stuff. I'll show you that in a second. Mom and I had a really good lunch at Zinc as usual. Okay, now where to sit and where to put you. Let's just go to the desk. As good as we're gonna get, guys. This camera just does not do as well in different lighting as the Olympus Pen did. So I took advantage of the sale in the beauty section. It was bath, body, and beauty. I think the makeup stuff was included, but I didn't get any makeup. And I'm not sure all of this was, was on sale but some of it was. Kind of boring, but I got a toothpaste. The Himalaya Botanique. Botanique? I don't know how they would pronounce it. I don't know where the accent would be, but um, fluoride-free, SLS-free, carrageenan-free, and gluten-free. It's supposed to be whitening. My usual tooth toothpaste they didn't have, so I thought I would try this. The ingredients looked good enough. Um, then I picked up some more of my Alba Botanica Acne Dote Invisible Treatment Gel which I use as like an all-over serum, but you can also use it as a spot treatment. I got some of the Walita Skin Food. I love this stuff. And I got, oh, it's a different um, container, but I kind of like that better. I got a little one so that I could take this with me in the plane. It's one fluid ounce, so this would fit in my um, liquids bag. I'll get a full-size one when I get back, but um, the smaller ones are also cheaper. Then I got, this was on clearance, dry skin hand cream by the Whole Foods brand. Enriched, it's 20% shea butter, enriched with argan and olive oil. The scent is peony, mint, and blackberry. I've seen this before, I've tried it a lot, but I think this was like almost half off, if not half off. So this is the larger bottle. They have smaller ones, but they the smaller ones were like 50 cents more than this one was on sale, so it just kind of worked out to get this one. And then I got this, I'm not sure, I'm thinking about it, but I think I might keep it because I did need a new eye mask anyway. But it's this eye mask and scrunchie set in this beautiful blush pink. It's just um, polyester satin, but it is still pretty nice. I loved the pink. I need to see like how it wouldn't block out a lot of light, like I think at night, which might actually be good. I think at nighttime when it's dark, it would be um, thick enough to block out any like 
minor light still left in the room, but in the morning, I think once the sun comes up, you'd still be able to get like, you'd still get some of the daylight starting to come through. I kind of like that because I like having a sleep mask to just help keep my eyes shut at night and just to block out the little bit of light left in my room but I like it when it lets some of the light through in the morning so that I do naturally wake up with the daylight. And I like that this one has an adjustable strap on it because the other problem I tend to have is the elastic starts to wear out and then I'm constantly having to put little stitches in to make it tighter. So yeah, I got, it comes with that and then it comes with a little matching scrunchie. You can get sets like this from the brand, I think it's Slip is the brand but it's like $100 for the mask and the matching scrunchie, probably because that is 100% silk. This is polyester, but it still feels really, really soft. So if you have a Whole Foods near you and see this, you might wanna give it a try. So I will probably test these out before I go to London. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't sure initially if I would keep it. I thought I'd buy it, see what my total ring up to, see if I could afford to keep it. But now that I'm home, I do, I do like the feel and the look of this. So I think I probably will keep it. I didn't make as much progress on my conference paper this week as I'd hoped, but I did make more progress than I have in previous weeks. So I think for next week I'm revising my plan. I think I need to not try to revise it for the article before the conference because I have a month after the conference anyway and it probably would be a good idea to do the presentation, see what feedback I get from the audience, and then revise it for the article. I did request two books from the library. Um, I think I'm going to go through um, and try to find a few others as well as go through the books that I pulled on Monday and just refresh myself on some of the scholarship. I do feel like the scholarship portion, there isn't like a specific lit review, which is probably fine, but I just want to add in a bit more scholarship. I looked at the, my work cited and it's like really minimal compared to what my work cited lists look like you know, towards the end of my PhD. I'm gonna focus more on revising it for the conference and getting it super strong for the conference. And I need to start finding images and start putting my slides together. And then I'll be revising the paper along the way as I do that. I think it will still be a really strong paper. Um, and then I can do minor edits after the conference. I think what was just, what I was struggling with this week was trying to adapt it to the article format and I, I think I'm I thought that would be better turn it into an article and then make a presentation out of the article but I think I need to go the other way around anyway I've been talking for 16 minutes and I did that on Monday too I feel like so sorry if there hasn't been much in between Monday and Sunday on the vlogs I know I vlogged a bit but I don't know how much it added up to and I feel like I haven't did I speak to you since Monday? I think I did, but I can't remember. Actually, I don't even think I vlogged on Monday. I think it was on Tuesday that I rambled. So anyway, now it's getting closer to six and 16 and a half minutes. I'm gonna shut up and get on with the rest of my Sunday and enjoy it, what's left of it. I need to do some laundry and go get changed into my comfy cozies and just start relaxing, so that is the plan now that it's been nearly 17 minutes i'm gonna love editing this vlog i just know it okay let's get on with the sunday <laughs>